Well, we're in the car right here, and we have to, we just came back from Stewart. We have to go to um, bring Doodle to the vet because the bone's stuck inside her. She got a bone stuck inside her, we don't know what to do to get it out. So we're gonna at least go get an x-ray and go from there. Basically, the vet told us that she has to have surgery because the rawhides do not come out. So she's looking at surgery. And I know she has to have surgery. And Fred keeps saying she just has to have an x-ray. Yeah, so we're gonna take an x-ray and go from there. And if we have to have surgery, we have to have surgery. But I don't know if they're gonna go into the stomach or in intestines. We're at the vet, we're bringing the girls in. She's gotta go, Doodle's gotta go in. She's got a big bone stuck in her stomach. Right, Kim? Not good. So we'll let you know what the results are when we get out. When we get out. We're here. We just came back from the vet, and uh, the vet took an X-ray and didn't see anything. But they said rawhides usually don't show up in X-rays. So, so Doodle, we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet. Close to the water. Well, we're not even close to the water because we can't see it. We're but in she, the woods. We're in the woods. We're not out of the woods. We're not close to the water. We're, we're, we're in the woods taking a pee. We're still walking. We're walking. He's peeing and I'm walking. Right. Keep watching her. She's pooping. So. Guys, this is what happened. A guy was going around a corner too fast and actually I hit the brakes and he was going around a corner. He's coming towards me and he actually, I looked to the left in my mirror and he slid sideways yes. into the grass, probably about 35 miles an hour into the grass. And I laughed and I just kept driving away because he's a friggin' idiot. Doing 35 around a corner, he should be doing about 10. Kim, what are you making? This is kale, sauteed kale. Ooh, onions. onions. Yeah, wow, burning my eyes. Now, sweating them. Am I gonna sweating have to eat them, like baby. Making them nice and sweet. Sweat those onions. Am I gonna have to eat like a rabbit? No, it'll be soft. No. Oh. This will all reduce to like nothing. It will be nothing. But this is the highest vitamin vegetable you can eat. You know that. What is it? It's kale. 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 Okay. Kale and mustard greens are the highest. Okay, I'll try some. Well, guys, I'm trying to get some sun here. And um, this is what happened. I fell through the chair. I fell through the chair. fell right on my butt. Butt cheeks. Anyways, here's the deal, guys. Um, I'm thinking about repainting my trailer because the paint and stain kind of wore off, so I need to restain it. It's an old snowmobile trailer, but it's got brand new 10-ply tires to put on there. Painted the rims, it's all aluminum, and I put brand new boards on it. It's a, a eight by 10 foot dump trailer, it's pretty cool. And it dumps, so you can dump them thing right off the golf cart. It's pretty cool. So all this, my palm tree's getting taller, and this uh, house next door, they really didn't do nothing with yet. The grass is pretty tall. So that's pretty uh, crazy, huh? This is this is when the economy crashed. You know, he paid two hundred twenty thousand for his little tiny house, and uh, he walked away from it. So that was my house. I paid one hundred and fifty thousand, three thousand square foot, granite island, everything, and this is a small, tiny two-bedroom wood frame, not even concrete block. He paid two hundred twenty thousand for with a pool that's a liner that's falling apart. Not even a concrete pool, a liner. That's a mess, so. That's what you get when you buy at the wrong time. Which I actually bought, a, I bought pretty high too. But it wasn't pretty high. I bought, it was just right, but it, it actually dropped 10% after I bought it. So, but then it went up 30%, so I don't know. What the way the economy's going, I don't know what's gonna go on with housing. I don't even know if they're gonna be, I don't know if there's gonna be any food left the way everything's going. Take the temperature right here at 125 degrees. You're making soap, Fred? Hot processed soap. Hot processed soap. First time I've ever First made time. It. There's a chemical reaction in here. It's 164 degrees just from the chemical. Don't put your face over. Don't put your face over that. Now explain something to me. This is Nate, this is natural soap, but you're putting chemicals that turn 170 degrees. It's called soaponification. Soponic vacation. Ah! Ah! Soponic what? Oh, you're on vacation? Soponic what? Soponification. Soponification. I thought you said soponic, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. Oh, you're on vacation? Soponic. What do you think about this soap? It has vacation in it. It has vacation. So I'm happy about it. Well, close your eyes. Let's see how Kimmy is. 
Close your eyes, so I don't get a laser in it. That freaks me out, dude. Look at 95 degrees, 95.9. How much no, am I? Nothing has changed. How much am I? Since you are five years old. How much am I? What temperature? Nothing has changed. Guys, did you see the temperature? Because no one told me the temperature. You tell me the temperature in the feedback. Jack. Here, go big or go home, right? Hey, don't get close to that. This is this will burn you. Whoa, whoa, watch my camera, man. Crazy or something? It's my camera, dude. Dude. Hey, what else is all that crap from? That's, from that? No, that's from you painting the oh, house. Jeez, Louise. For the love of Pete. Do you know what hot process means? It means it's hot. No, it means that it's gonna cook all the lye out of it and we can use it right away. Holy shamolies! Whoa, there's a storm for you. I said not to get close to this. Travel in space and time. What did I say? What did I say? Do you want to get burnt? Female doctor. Do you want to get burnt? What do you have to say to that? I would stay back if I were you. I'd turn back if I were you. Okay, guys, that's about it for tonight and tomorrow. Stay tuned because you're going to see some serious stuff. Trust me. You know what to do. Like us and share us, you know you'll find us funny.